So we just had the Super Bowl on Sunday, so loads and loads of trailers. And one of our favourite ones we're most looking forward to is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So let's hit it. Let's hit it. Just who got a new song? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Yondu's on their side by the looks of yeah. it. Okay. Another song. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> uh, okay, so what happened to him? Oh, Baby Groot again. <laughs> we see Nebula. Haven't seen her yet. What's that? He says, welcome <laughs> to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Only he didn't use frickin'. Look <laughs> <laughs> out! <Without. laughs> I tried, guys. <laughs> More guardians. Yeah, more guardians. That's more crazy. baby group. More songs. So we more got funnies. the um, Fleetwood Mac song, right? Yeah, love some Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, That's good. really, That's really good. And uh, yeah, more Drax being hilarious. So so excited for this. So excited. <laughs> Watch out! I tried. <laughs> I tried. <guys. laughs> nice. So the first thing we see is Planet Sovereign. Actually, the first thing we see Purple. is Fleetwood Mac. You don't right. see Fleetwood. <laughs> we see Fleetwood Mac, the chain. Right. Such a great song. Yes, so. you didn't notice anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we got the Planet Sovereign. Yep. Um, Aisha shows up, right? Yeah. She's the yep. big gold lady. <laughs> yes. So she's the main villain in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Right. Um, but they've changed her origin, apparently, in this film, because she was created by scientists in the comics, mm-hmm. as, like, Adam Warlock was. So they're very similar. But in this, apparently the sovereign people kind of create themselves. Okay. So, like, perfection, they're made out of pods, like, scientific. Genetic engineering yeah. kind of fixing themselves. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, so we see the first appearance of her, because only so far we've seen like a toy version of her. Yeah, and she seems a bit pissed off with them. It seems like she's hired them to kill yeah. this beast. The Abelisk. The Abelisk. Yeah. And they've failed or something? The Abelisk is trying to like drain their resources, which are these giant batteries, apparently. Yeah. And Rocket's like, I'll just do a few, because they won't notice. Right. And that's when they go after them. The, we see the high-tech portals that things... Yeah. So we get yeah. a really quick shot of Gamora with a sword, yeah. which is cool. Yeah, that sword looks amazing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. But she's next to like a portal thing. It looks yes. very like something out of Thor. It does, yeah. Like, like the kind of thing Heimdall's protecting. Yeah, you know? like the Rainbow um, Bridge portal. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And there's actually more than one portal as well in, yes. in this thing. So there's so a couple of portals. When they're fighting the Abelisk, when yeah. um, Drax is flying towards the Abelisk, you yes. see two portals on each side of the obelisk. Yeah. So that's cool. So it's just it's like a portal area. A place yeah. where you go to portal to other, other places. <laughs> other dimensions. Some sort of terminal. Universes. Yeah. Some sort of train station for portals. <laughs> Indeed. <Yeah. laughs> so next couple of shots we have Yondu with Star-Lord like f- flying the ship. Right. So it looks like they're like working together. They're allies now. Yep. He's kind of joined the Guardians. So that's kind of interesting. That's cool. Yeah. And then we have, have this amazing scene where Gamora's got this giant freaking machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, ah! It seems like the kind of gun that would be attached to a ship or something. <laughs> yeah. And she's just kind she's of like... Stolen it. And then we get a shot with Yondu and the Ravagers. So it kind of seems like um, they've turned on him. Yeah, there's a the, mutiny or something. Yeah. And so he's protecting himself and he's joined the Guardians because of it. Yeah. So Rocket Raccoon and Baby Groot are sort of helping him, like, I think escape from the Ravager's ship. And that's when we get the Baby Groot thing from the second trailer. And he's like, I am Groot! And, yeah. And then we actually get uh, another look at Nebula. So she was obviously from the first film. We're not quite sure whose side she, she's actually on, though. Are, are they she, she was a baddie in the first film, She right? was, yeah. But, yeah, we don't, we're not quite sure whose side she's on in this trailer at this point. Are they rescuing her? Or does he try and get them? I don't know how they kind of come together again. Mm, yeah. It's kind of interesting. Looks like she's got a new ship, which looks pretty cool. Yeah. And then we've got the funny scene with Baby Groot and Rocket, and they're working in, welcoming Yondu to the Guardians. And, um, yeah, he kind of swears in the 
in an unsweary way. Yeah. <laughs> PG cute. thirteen film, right? Yes. So they're they're, uh, they're trying to do swear words without things. Yeah, words. I think he's like well, he said, "Welcome to the freaking Gardens of the Galaxy," and he's like, "But he did say frickin' yeah, <laughs> or something." Yeah. It's, it's kind of funny. It works. <laughs> yeah, it kind of works. I like it. Mm. And then we get a close up of um, Taserface. So he yeah. was teased at Comic Con because all the kind of main um, ravagers came on in costume in Comic Con. Hmm. on the panels so that was pretty cool so we know he kind of leads a mutiny against Yondu okay. so all the press did like a set visit and they kind of found out about yeah. that according to this press thing um, they were hired to take down the Guardians of the Galaxy by the Sovereign after you know they insulted them took the battery and then Yondu was like no we need to side with the Guardians because they're protected by Nova Corp but then they were like no we want the bounty money so that's when I think they split okay yeah, fair, pretty fair much fair yeah <laughs> so that's kind of cool Taser face looks really gnarly he does he looks like a bad guy <laughs> yeah um, but I think it was in the original comics um, but I think he was like a, an android yeah, yeah. so yeah kind of a bit of a different take but yeah he looks he looks pretty cool and then we get that final amazing shot of them all kind of lined up yeah so we got Yondu Nebula and Mantis joining the Guardians and then we get a hilarious scene right at the end where there's like a fireball that hits Mantis <laughs> or something and then Drax is like I watch want... out <laughs> yeah. after it hits her so yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then I he's tried, like guys. I tried guys <laughs> yes I love it. So, good. so super excited about this. We get a few more like looks at things. We get our first look at Aisha. We see Nebula again, but still no ego. No ego. No. Yeah, that's true. Still no planet. No living planet. No yeah. even. We haven't even seen the guy. In no, form. Kurt Russell. I I don't so, think they're gonna release release anything. him before. No, no, I don't think it's so. just completely. Mm. Yeah, you will have to wait. It's kind of <laughs> cool. The dark. I mean, yeah. So far, Drax is just completely yep, blowing me away. It, yeah. I think it's going to be it's going to be Drax movie for me. Yep. Um, Excited about Mantis as well. Actually, I think those two are going to be mm, hilarious together. Yeah, yeah, I think because so. they're both quite they seem both quite awkward. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I think yeah. they can become quite good friends. Just say things. Don't <laughs> yeah. really think about it. I <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So good. Um, good. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you liked, please subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.